What's going on everyone? This your boy Rob Easy, always making things easy. Yes, I'm bringing you another video today. If you haven't checked out my earlier video, which is the Hyrule Warriors character analysis of Midna, go check that out right now. But today I'm going to be mainly talking about the Nintendo Direct that happened this morning. And I have to say, I wasn't really impressed with all the stuff they showed, primarily because I'm not interested in all that stuff. The only stuff I was interested in was about Splatoon, which I'll cover last. But first let me start off with the new Fire Emblem trailer for the 3DS that's coming out in 2015. But uh, it looks good. I'm not really into the Fire Emblem series like that, but for those that are, there's something to look forward to. Then we have Puzzles and Dragon Z, something I've, I've never heard of. But from what I understand, it's like an RPG. You fight monsters by... Uh, solving the puzzles, you get like a three and you get like a combo from it. So you get like multiple combos. Which, that's kind of cool, but I'm not really into those Candy Crush type games. So, I'm going to take a pass on that. Ironically, Pokemon's also doing the same thing with its eShop only title, Pokemon Shuffle. Now, I'm not really into those games, like I said, so I'm going to have to pass on that one too. And also, they showed Wii games on Wii U. Now, of course, you already know that the Wii U is backwards compatible with the Wii, but they're only doing it for three titles right now that you can download directly from Nintendo eShop. You got Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is available right now. You'll have later on, like in about a couple weeks, Punch-Out! and the Metroid Prime Trilogy. That's pretty cool. So there's that to look forward to. The only thing that I want is the Metroid Prime Trilogy, because I've never played a Prime game. The only time I've played a Prime game was the first one, and that was like at a demo. And we had Bill Trin come on, and we talked about Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, and some amiibo functionality with that. Not really interested in Ra Rainbow Curse, so I'll take a pass on that. Then they talked about the upcoming spring lineup for the amiibo series, as far as Smash Bros. is concerned. And Lucina's finally coming out as amiibo, yes! So excited! I get Toon Link, Meta Knight, and Lucina. Yes! Except Lucina's in the EU right now. And, uh, bring her to North America, come on! You got this! Okay, just bring her to North America, that's all I ask. He also talked about a new series of amiibo called the Super Mario Brothers series, which they have new style figures of Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, and Bowser, and those will mainly be functional for the upcoming Mario Party 10. I'm only going to get Mario Party 10 if they have online multiplayer, which it doesn't look like it's going to get, so pass. Then they also talked about amiibo functionality for Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, which again I'm not interested in, so moving on. They also talked about the Hyrule Warriors DLC that's Majora's Mask related. And for this one, uh, I mean, you had Tingle, not really excited about Tingle, but at least Young Link is interesting, he's got the Fierce Deities mask on, yes, yes, awesome. I did want Skull Kid playable, but it looks like he's going to be an alternate costume for Link, and there's supposed to be alternate costumes for Sheik and Impa, I believe, or I'm not sure, they, they looked like she could input. So, just speculation there, so don't take it too serious. Then we also had a trailer for the Xenoblade Chronicles X game. It's coming out in 2015. Now they have a definite release date, but only in Japan. Because it's going to come out in April 24th. Would have liked a worldwide release date, but I'm not surprised because it's barely January. So we're not going to get like release dates that fast. We're gonna get like vague release dates like March or May or something like that. So then you also had Mario vs. Donkey Kong Tipping Stars. Again, I'm not really interested in the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, but the tipping of the stars idea to other players is pretty cool. I like that. Then you also had a game from the Namco Bandai developers called Project Treasure. I'm not sure what it's about. It's pretty vague, but it's out there. It exists. What else would exist is Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem. Where was that, Nintendo? Don't tell me it's vaporware. 
So then we had some indie games shown off. Okay, cool. And then we also had Etrian Mystery Dungeon, which is a combination of the Etrian Odyssey series and the Mystery Dungeon series. So if you like any of those games, give that a shot. They also talked about Story of Seasons, which is something monogatari in Japanese. But it's kind of like Harvest Moon a little bit, so. So have fun with that if you like that. Then there's also the Fossil Fighter Frontier series. That's coming soon. The only thing I remember about that is a T-Rex shooting a laser from its mouth. I'm sold. I'm sold. Anyway, then Reggie came on and talked about the new Nintendo 3DS. Now, here are my thoughts on the new Nintendo 3DS. I really don't think I should get it at this point because my regular 3DS is still functional, albeit the rubber on the slide pad is tearing off, but I think it'll still last for about a year. So I'll wait till I get a new Nintendo 3DS until then. Probably for my birthday or something. Then they showed more stuff for Codename Steam, which again, I'm not really a fan of, but they did show off some amiibo functionality for some of the Fire Emblem characters like Marth and Ike and Lucina and Robin later on down the line. They also showed off a trailer for Ace Combat Assault Horizon Legacy Plus. Pretty cool, I guess, if you're into those flight sim games. They also showed a trailer for Ironfall, another indie game. And then they showed more functionality as far as new Nintendo 3DS controls are concerned for Xenoblade 3D and Majora's Mask 3D. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is Splatoon because, oh my god, there's so much good information about that game. So not only are there different kinds of weapons, cool, but there's also different types of sub-weapons, even more cool. And then there's different types of like special attacks that you can do, like special weapons that do like that spread around massive amounts of paint everywhere. Even more cool. Now what would be even cooler if we had multiple loadouts for everything? Because I don't want to do, do all that just edit one single loadout, change this around, change that around, you know, stuff like that. Just one multiple loadouts, so it can easily switch to one or the other. The reason I say that is because they also have different types of clothing in the game that give you some kind of perks, like better attack power, better spreading paint power, or better speed, agility. So those are going to be really cool to have, and I really believe Splatoon's really going to be competitive especially on the Twitch scene, where you're going to have all kinds of competitions. It could be even up there with the likes of Dota and League and Smite, all those things. I, I really believe it. So Splatoon's looking amazing. Uh, it's set to release in May 2015, which I'm guessing it's going to be the end of May, just like Mario Kart 8 was last year. So it's going to be cool. I can't wait to play during the summer. So until next time everyone, let me know what you guys think of this Nintendo Direct. Did you think it was good? Did you think it was bad? Let me know. But until next time, this has been Rob Easy. Peace y'all. I'm out. Yet to Meta